Hello, my amazing, beautiful, wonderful, fantastic friends. Welcome back to my channel. It has been a while. I, I know, I know. Uh, before we get into this video, I want to give a huge shout out to today's sponsor, which is Princess Polly. So let's just get on to like the sponsored portion of the video before we get into the rest of the video. Hello, my loves. I want to give a huge shout out and a huge thank you to Princess Polly for sponsoring this video. I am so happy. I swear, Princess Polly like always just comes in clutch because I've worked with Princess Polly quite a few times, which by the way, love working with them. They're always so sweet to work with. And they always just know when I'm like craving some real retail, some good old retail therapy. I think I've really been wanting to do clothing retail therapy and get some new outfits, feel cute, because the springtime is happening, which means that my birthday is coming up, by the way, May 11th save the date <laughs> so new season new weather new fashion and i've just felt really inspired to go to princess polly and order some things and then i checked my email and princess polly was like hey so thank you so much to princess polly for sponsoring this video and they were also kind enough to send me some clothes as well as give you guys a discount code that you can use to get 20 percent off your next princess polly order and it is diana 20 i will put it on the screen for you guys so a few things about princess polly they ship from within the united states and if your order is over 50 us dollars then you you get free express shipping which means that it'll ship within three to four days also princess polly offers after pay and shop pay to all us customers so getting all of that out of the way let's get on to the haul and the try on everything i will be showing in this video will be linked in the description box below along with my size as well as my measurements so if you're curious about anything and how things fit just look at the bottom in the description of the video first things first i got is this top i think this top this color just screams spring to me like things like this and and like yellows and some greens which i will be showing you guys uh just scream spring to me and i absolutely love this top because i really like the all the detailing on it the ruffly detailing on it i think you can wear it on the shoulder as well if that's something that you prefer i actually prefer like this more off the shoulder look so i'm looking in the viewfinder as i'm doing this because i really i like feeling myself i think it looks i look so cute in this top so it just buttons right here and then you can tie it right in the middle and i think it just is very flattering and again is a very nice look for spring i got so many dresses because dresses are another thing that i think just it just looks like spring i don't know when i think of spring fashion i think of like skirts and dresses so i got quite a few dresses i'm gonna go through those first this dress it's really hard to show you guys what it looks like without me trying it on so you guys are gonna see everything on the screen of what it looks like on my body it's hard to show but it basically crosses over here and then goes into a halter behind your neck. And I was actually kind of skeptical about this dress at first because it's one of those dresses where I saw it on the model and I was like, damn, that's a really pretty dress on the model <laughs> but i was like you know what no i want to kind of step out of my comfort zone and give it a shot even though i'm not sure how it look on me but i actually really like how it looks on me and it's one of my favorite things that i got so very happy with that next dress i got quite a few green things because ever since i dyed my hair brown i've been really like falling back into what green looks like on me i didn't like green on me when i had the pink hair as much because it just screams like watermelon sugar vibes but since I dyed my hair brown, I got quite a few green things. And this was one of them. I love this dress. I love dresses with adjustable straps, baby. And this one comes with it. And also the back is pretty stretchy as well, which is a nice touch. I also, I really like the length of this dress. I think it's very lightweight, which is perfect for spring weather. Oh my gosh. Okay, this next dress, I feel like this would have been perfect for like an Easter dress or even like a, like a brunch date or a picnic. Actually, the next, this, and then the next two dresses I'm gonna show, I literally, got them and I added them to my cart with the envision of me going on a picnic while wearing them it's actually giving me motivation to live because I'm like I cannot die until I go on a picnic while wearing these dresses <laughs> this is the first one that I got very simple ruffling at the top that I think adds a very nice touch there's also this little slit at the bottom this little opening that I think is another nice little touch that adds a bit of detailing and just the color and the design very very beautiful for spring okay next picnic dress that's what we're gonna call these picnic dresses is this one I think this is one of the most like comfortable dresses that I got I feel like you can have a really good meal in this dress because this entire portion so here's like the the chest area and then the entire portion underneath is just like stretchy and flowy and just oh my gosh you could smash down some like 
like strawberry shortcake and some like little tea time sandwiches, some crackers and hummus. Totally snatch that with this. It'd still be super comfortable. Then this next dress, this one's a bit more tighter, but I absolutely love the design of this dress. This one's more bodycon, I feel like. It definitely fits my body very tightly. But the dress, like the pattern is so pretty. It's so pretty. I love it. And I love, this is another one that can kind of go off the shoulder or on the shoulder. And I like a little bow tie in the middle. Oh my gosh, I adore it. Adore. Next two dresses. Okay, maybe these next two dresses aren't very springy, um, but I got them because I was like, damn, I would look so hot in these and I do, I do. So we have this red dress that is just so, it's so lovely. And the back is all kind of cinched together like this, which ends up looking really flattering from the behind. It's just a very flattering fitted dress. So I got it in red and I also got it in this beautiful green color that I think looks so good on me with like my skin tone and my hair. Oh my gosh, yes. So again, just the same dress in a different color. Next up, we have these pants and I got these pants because I wanted to wear them with this shirt. This is just a simple cropped t-shirt that says sucker for love. And I thought that just like these two would look really cute together. That was the envision that I had. And these pants are so nice. They're really good length and they have this little like flare at the bottom. I've been really into flared jeans, flared pants, or, like bell bottom pants, things like that. I just think they're very flattering on my body. So I really am happy with these jeans and I think they look really cute together. Next up, I actually got this skirt with a, a white top that I have somewhere in my dresser. I got this little, I love skirts that have the, what are these, like the panels, like the paneled ruffled skirt kind of thing. I think it looks so cute. Oh my gosh, I'm obsessed with it. And I think you can honestly wear these for any season, but I think they look extra cute in the spring. And I think this blue color is just absolutely lovely. And I think it would look really good with just a white top or something. Yeah, so that's why I got this skirt. These next two things I got as outfits in mind. So this skirt, I actually got this skirt in two different colors. I got it in blue and white. I actually love this skirt, actually. It's like a more flattering pencil skirt. So this is the same skirt, one's blue, one's white. And I got each one with a top set in mind. So for the white one, the top that I got with this, I think the white would look really good with this top, but I got it because I thought it would look really, really nice with this cute little top. I love like the puffy sleeves on these tops. I think they look so pretty. I think they just look so cute, delicate and like feminine. As you can see, I've been really into green lately. I've got like, this is like my fourth green thing that I've gotten in this haul. But I thought these two would look really cute together. You guys will see in like the try on, I'm gonna put these on together. And then for this skirt, I thought this this top would look so pretty with it. I don't know if it really matches too well, but I think it looks really nice together. And also this top is very spring, it screams spring to me. Just this color along with the flower detailing, like it's just so adorable. And I just, I like the little pink lace at the top and the little bow in the, oh, it's just so cute. I think this would look so nice with some like white sandals, like a giant, one of those giant sun hats, you know, look really cute with this outfit. That is everything I got from Princess Polly. Once again, you can use my code Diana20 to get 20% off your next Princess Polly order. Really appreciate if you guys use my code and I hope you guys get some really cute outfits. Send them to me on my Discord by the way. And if you want to join my Discord, you can see in the description box how to join. Once again, shout out to Princess Polly for sponsoring this video. And let's just get on to the rest of the video. And we're back. Hope you guys enjoyed that little haul, that little try on. And don't forget to use my discount code, Diana20, to get 20% off your Princess Polly order. Okay, so hello, good morning. It is like 10.30, it's 10.42 in the morning. I actually woke up at a decent time today. I woke up at like 8.30ish, um, spent like 30 minutes in bed, fighting the urge to stay in bed. Um, and then I finally got out of bed around nine, changed out my laundry, and now I'm getting ready to go to the gym. I know it's been, it's been a while since I have filmed and uploaded. Uh, I will get into talking about like the reasoning behind that and the reason for my break and just how I've been doing, just like an update. But the short story, the TLDR version is basically, I was, I was uploading like every two weeks, which I wasn't really happy about. But the thing was, is that maybe it seemed like I was taking a break between uploads, but I actually wasn't. I was filming and editing and then not uploading because I was very unhappy with the outcome and unhappy unhappy with the video. So think of it like if you're in school and you're doing a project, you're doing all the research, you're doing all the work, and then you don't turn it in. You don't hand in your project. That's basically what I was doing. So I wasn't actually giving myself 
a proper break. I was just being inconsistent with my uploads. And I think it was almost like more discouraging because I was still putting in all this like time and effort to just not be happy with it. So I decided to just stop filming, stop editing, give myself an actual break. And now I'm, I'm coming back. I'm gonna really try my best to come back and like be more consistent with my uploads, but I'm not gonna like make any promises. I'm just promising that I'm gonna try. And I will talk about what happened during that time and what I've been going through mentally. Like I said, I'll give you guys an update on that later. First things first, we're gonna go to the gym. I always say we, because I'm taking y'all with me. We're, go we're doing this together. We're doing this together. And also I've been like pretty open with my mental health. There are some things I like haven't talked to you guys about, but I'm pretty open with like overall how I'm feeling and how I'm doing, what I'm struggling with. And I get a a lot of messages that you guys really like that and it helps you a lot so if you are also struggling which i know a lot of you are because like i said y'all be messaging me so if you are one of those people that are also struggling maybe that's what i'll say i'll say we we are gonna go to the gym also if you can't though that's totally okay but the gym definitely helps make me feel a lot better and if it's something that you've been wanting to do and you've just been like kind of struggling to get out of bed i'm here to say you and me baby we're gonna go to the gym we're gonna have a good day today we're gonna eat our meals we're gonna cook our meals we're gonna try to cook our meals. Uh, we're gonna have a good workout. We're gonna, I'm putting this into the universe. We are putting this into the universe. We're gonna have a good day today. Maybe tomorrow will suck, but today, today we're gonna have a good day. Nothing can bring me down. <laughs> yeah, also I did dye my hair darker. If you're wondering like, oh, did you, is your hair darker? It is, it is. I dyed my hair a few days ago and I'm really loving it. I actually think I like the darker hair over the pink hair and like the lighter colors and things like that. I think I prefer my natural face with darker hair. But I also, I prefer this color over my natural hair color. Cause my natural hair color is like black. It's more of a chocolatey brown. Okay, enough procrastinating. We're gonna go to the gym. Hello? Wow, I look like an egg. Um, <laughs> I wanted to show you guys this app I've been using. It's called Finch and I'm freaking obsessed with that. I've been using it for like, I wanna say like a week now. And it's just, you get this little, this little chicky right here and you give yourself kind of just goals throughout the day and you send your little chicky off on an adventure. So like, for example, I have, um, eat a filling breakfast, eat a serving of fruits and vegetables, reach out to a friend, wash my face, <laughs> even like small things like wash your face, drink a glass of water, I think are just good to have achievable goals to just let you know, like, Hey, you're doing something. Like you're getting some things done that you wanted to do today. Give yourself some extra Credit. So what you do is you see this and then you click start adventure and Navi will have something to share with you after. Her name's Navi, which means butterfly in Korean. You have about six hours for her to go adventuring. And the way that you can like have her return sooner is you can complete one of the goals. So for example, I did drink a glass of water today and that's about it, but it's still something. With that, it's brought down to, it brought it down like a few extra minutes. So now she'll come back sooner. And the more goals you complete, the faster she comes back and the more that you can like raise her because she comes back she'll like ask you a question and you like decide how to answer that question and depending how you answer it gives her like some points so it seems like Navi her personality is mostly like she has a lot of tenacity going on which means that she's like determined which is great we love that okay queen she has quite a bit of extroversion going on um very not like me but something I wish I was I wish I was a bit more extroverted so maybe this is reflecting like what I want to be and then she also has a lot of compassion so yeah I think that's pretty cool I'm so excited to go to the gym I miss the gym Gym, bro. Weird. Oh my god, before I start driving, let's get a song. I've been listening to a Stray Kids album like No Tomorrow. I love this song! Oh my god.
finished with the gym. I had such a good workout, honestly. I didn't film everything just because I kind of wanted to speed the process up and filming takes up a lot of time. You gotta find like decent angles and then I have to rewatch the footage and blah, blah, blah. I didn't film everything, but I filmed a few things here and there. And now I'm at Publix because I think Publix has like milk frothers and things like that. And I really wanna make my own matcha latte. You guys know I'm like obsessed with matcha lattes and I spent so much money buying them when I'm gonna try to make one. Cause yesterday I went to Trader Joe's because I saw this girl on TikTok. I forgot her name. If I can find it, I'll put it on the screen. But she loves Trader Joe's and she has this drink and it's like this blueberry lavender. I think it's almond milk and she loves it. She usually adds it to matcha or like oatmeal. She adds it to a lot of things. And I want to try it in matcha and I think I'm going to do an iced matcha. I've been on like a hot drink kick because hot drinks feel like hugs, but it's boiling outside today. Like I don't even know what the temperature is. Hold on. It is currently 83 degrees. So it's hot 83 degrees it's freaking hot let's go to Publix also I'm down one of these I'm trying to drink three of these at least a day so finished one go me so I just got home I just came back from the grocery store and I bought a bunch of things I got a bullet a bullet I got a blender I got milk frother I used to have these things but I think they got lost in the sauce when I was moving I also I have like two different types of matcha I got this kind which is this matcha ceremonial greed looks like this I thought it looked pretty fancy I don't know so I thought it looked fancy so I was like oh if it looks fancy then it must be good but I also got this matcha which is this jade leaf matcha latte blend so i think it has like maybe some added stuff in it it has some sugar in it already i think i'm gonna try this one first this is the blueberry lavender almond milk that i was talking about from trader joe's so i'm gonna be adding this i'm gonna be adding just a little bit this we'll like test it and then we're gonna be blending that i think it'll be good follow me baby girl she's a year old the birthdays just passed recently they are both officially one year old I cried. My babies. I've never made matcha at home, so I'm just kind of eyeballing things. Let's try that. Sure, why not? I don't know how much milk. Ooh, that smells so good. And then I'm gonna do the rest with like oat milk. Now we're gonna add the blueberry jam. Ugh, didn't go to the gym for nothing. Oh my God. Oh my actual, oh my actual God. This is so good. Just wow. Oh yeah, I'm gonna be making this like a lot. I actually should eat something. I should like make some breakfast. I didn't sweat too much at the gym. As you guys can see, like I don't look super nasty. So I think I can eat something. I had a little bit of fun when I was at Trader Joe's and I got this. This is a tofu scramble with soy chorizo. We're microwaving. My kitchen is a mess. I will deal with that later. Maybe I could eat this with rice. Should I eat this with rice or potatoes? Rice, I kind of want to eat it with rice. Kyo, no. I haven't even taste tested this, but like, I just feel like it needs hot sauce. Not the prettiest, definitely not the prettiest looking meal. Um, that's okay, because it doesn't matter how she looks. It matters uh, how she tastes. <laughs> Ooh, it's good. Mm. Mm. Mm -hmm. I think I could make something like this better. I mean, like obviously because it's a frozen meal, but it's really good for a frozen meal, like top tier. Mm. Hello guys, it's already kind of late. It is 10, 10.30, 10.30 p.m. I haven't talked to you guys much since I ate breakfast. So I did kind of put some makeup on, made myself feel pretty. And then I played some Stardew Valley and some Valorant with my friends and I just chilled and relaxed and I had a really good time. I've had a really good day. I also did some editing just like a little bit here and there and I snacked on the barbecue chips that I'm obsessed with. They're like the Outback barbecue Pringles. They're not Pringles, but like they're basically Pringles. I have like half a tub of those half of the tube the tub now i'm ready to have some dinner i'm like contemplating what i should make i don't know if i should make like i want noodles for sure definitely want noodles but do i want like noodle soup mm, kind of want soup i've been on a soup kick lately like you know what kind of soup i've been obsessed with miso soup obsessed with miso soup lately so i'm just in a soup mood hi bubs hi baby yeah i guess that's what i'll make I'll have some noodle soup bok choy and mushrooms and tofu 
it'll be great. So here's my dinner. This is what I end up making. I thought I had like a lot of bok choy. Turns out I have none. Zero. Zilch. Nada. So bok choy, I added seaweed, spinach, and then shiitake mushrooms, and a lot of kimchi. I added some tofu, some rice cakes, and some udon noodles. Hi guys. So I have my, my dinner here. I'm just eating it out of the, the flower pot. So let's talk. Let's let's have a little chit chat. I usually do like a voiceover here kind of thing, but I kind of just want to talk to you guys. Mmm. 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 So good. Whenever I have noodles, like noodle soup, the Ghibli film that always comes to mind is Whisper of the Heart. Anyway, sorry for like the mess in the background. I kind of have a depression apartment going on right now, uh, but we're we're working on it. <laughs> um, but basically, if you guys don't follow me on Twitter, then you wouldn't have known. I posted basically like a twit longer, which is just a really long tweet I'm talking about my mental health and just <sighs> lately, this has been happening for like, I mean, I've had depression. I've talked about this before. I've had depression for a really long time. Like probably since I was uh, 14, 15 years old, which is when like my mom got really, really, really sick. Just kind of been struggling through that for the past decade. Mm. Mm. I love shiitake mushrooms. Mm. So yeah, I've been dealing with that kind of, that mental illness love for a long time. <laughs> really, really, really long time. That's kind of like the norm for me at this point, but lately it's been really bad. Like really, really, really bad in the sense where I really don't want to live. <laughs> Not in the sense where I'll do something. So if my therapist is watching this, that was a joke. It's just like, I don't want to be here. And like, it's really hard for me to like get out of bed and feel like I deserve to be here, I guess. And it's been really hard to accept that I deserve the friends that I have, the people that I love. It's just been really hard. Like, I don't know what's been going on with me lately. I don't know why it started to get so bad, but I think I've just finally accepted how bad it is. And that's why I had to take a break from YouTube. And also I'm currently on a break from Twitch right now. Like I said earlier, I kept giving myself like mini breaks and like these little mini hiatuses because Taking a break from content creation when your like job basically is content creation is really scary because it's not like you have a job and you take a vacation or you take some sick days or something like that and then you get back and you're going to be making like less money for the next few weeks or so. But that is sometimes how it is with content creation. That happened when I first took a break when I lost my dad, is when I took a break and I came back, I wasn't making nearly as much money as I was. Which like money isn't everything, obviously, but this is kind of like my income right now, so. And something that I wanted to pursue. So taking a break causes like a lot of anxiety because content creation relies on like being relevant basically, which is really detrimental to your mental health sometimes because taking a break, while it's good for your mental health, it also kind of enlightens this fear of abandonment and fear of being forgotten and fear of being rejected. It's just a lot of wounds opening up <laughs> um, that we have not healed from, at least I haven't healed from. Hmm. Also, another thing I've been struggling with a lot lately is like, I think about my parents a lot for some reason. I mean, not for some reason, I, I always think about my parents. But lately, this like strong, overwhelming fear that I've like constantly disappointing my parents with every single thing that I do is like crippling, honestly crippling. Here's the thing with me is that I, I've come to a point in my life, like I've done a lot of work towards my mental health. And I think I've gotten to a point where I'm able to like combat the negative thoughts that I have constantly. So what I mean by that, if I have a negative thought, like your parents would be so disappointed in you. I know that they wouldn't. I know that my parents wouldn't be disappointed in me over forgetting to, I don't know, take the trash out. Or they wouldn't be disappointed in me if I decided to do what makes me happy. They wouldn't be disappointed in me if I decided to daybreak. They wouldn't be disappointed in me for whatever reason I come up with in my head. So like, even though I'm able to combat those thoughts, the issue is I have to do that every day. Like of every minute of every day, I have to put in that work. And it's really tiring. Like it's really, really, really exhausting to constantly be fighting yourself all the time time like i'm at war with myself every day of every minute it's definitely gotten better and i do think it's better like healing is hard healing is tiring and healing is not fun the end goal is great but the process kind of sucks and i feel like it's kind of one of those things that's going to be worse before it gets better and right now i'm in the worst phase it's it's worse <laughs> also something that um i wanted to talk to you guys about is i lost a really close friend recently a best friend actually someone I considered a best friend. She made the decision to walk out of my life because she couldn't accept the way I loved and the people I love and who I love. And it was just something that she couldn't support and she couldn't support me or my 
my lifestyle anymore, I guess. Um, and they were someone that I discovered myself with. Like I was able to discover more of myself with that person. So to have them help me discover this about myself only to also use that against me when leaving and walking out of my life raises a lot of abandonment and trust issues I didn't know I had. So that was really rough. And that was about a week ago, about a week ago. So um, that's still a fresh wound. That's a very, very fresh wound I must say and then also like two days later I had a really close person in my life try to cut me out and I'm just in here like damn what did I do wrong I've been feeling just like I suck and don't deserve people and don't deserve love and I just and again I've been fighting with those thoughts every day I'm just tired I'm just tired that's the gist of it is that I'm tired and I just needed a break and I needed a rest that's kind of what's been up with me and that's just where my head's been at, why I've taken a break, why I needed to take a break. And I don't know, I can't promise I'll be consistent. Whenever I say that I'm gonna try to upload more and be better and be more consistent, I'm not joking, I'm trying. It's just things happen literally like a day after I say that. All my energy goes into trying not to fall apart. I really am trying. I'm gonna try to be more consistent, but I can't promise that. I can promise that I'll try, but I can't promise that I will be. And it might take a while for me to like be better. Hope you'll bear with me. And if you don't, that's okay too. You don't have to stick with me. I like you. So I, I hope you stick around because I like you and I'd like for you to stick around, but I understand if you don't. Probably forgot a bunch of stuff because usually when I do a voiceover, I can kind of like script something out a little bit, have an outline that I want to talk about. But today I just wanted to talk. So I might've missed a bunch of stuff. You get the big idea. You get the big picture. All right, it is like 1.30 in the morning. <laughs> it's like 1.30 in the morning. I'm getting ready to go to bed, take my makeup off. I'm freaking exhausted, but I had a pretty good day today. And I was really happy to film again. Hopefully I can do better with the consistency of it all. Hi, baby. <laughs> but yeah, uh, if you guys watched this whole video, thank you so much. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed it, you know, give the video a thumbs up. And if you absolutely hated it, you can give it a thumbs down. That's okay too. Oh obviously before you go if you haven't already heard today you are amazing you are beautiful you are wonderful you are so valid and i am so so happy that you are alive i love you so so much and we hope to see you in the next video bye